Hey guys, how are you doing today? It is Coach B. Wiley with a video for your start of your week. Hope you had a good weekend. So I was talking to a friend literally the other day and we were talking about what I desire when it comes to dating, marriage, relationships, things of that nature. Now, for those who don't know, I'm a single individual, meaning I am not, I am not married nor have I ever been married. However, I do get approached a lot by men. We're talking about men in their 20s, 30s, 40s not in their 50s. Thank goodness I'm not there yet. <laughs> and so if you're like me, if you're dating, you have to be mindful of who you're allowing into your space, who you're entertaining. And for those of you who feel like your family members and or your friends want you to negotiate what you want, this video is for you. Let's say you're a woman who doesn't have any kids and you want kids. Why would you entertain a man who has already had the children that he wants or doesn't want kids at all. Why would you even entertain a guy like that for any reason when you know your ultimate goal is to have children? Another thing is a lot of women who have may have been single for a while or, her, or who have dead and dated and then they meet a guy and guy is cool, guy is consistent, guy is sounding like he's committed from as far as she can tell. However, he doesn't wanna be married. You know you wanna be married. So are you willing to accept this guy and be with this guy for the rest of your life without being his wife? That's a question you got to ask yourself. So when it comes to shacking up, if you know that you don't want to shack up, maybe you've been down that road, you've done that. Maybe you thought that if you did shack up, that would lead to a bigger commitment and it didn't. Things just fell apart and you've decided you don't want to shack up anymore. You have the right to have boundaries and standards. There's nothing wrong with that. And if your family and friends are trying to get you to negotiate outside of what you truly want, outside of what your spirit is telling you, outside of what your gut wants for you, it's on you to put your foot down and decide, I don't have to negotiate the things that I want. Certain things can be negotiated. Pay on a job can be negotiated. What can be else can be negotiated? You're selling something on Facebook Marketplace that can be negotiated. Those are a couple of things that can be negotiated. Who's going to wash the dishes every other day can be negotiated. However, if you know in this life, you want to have a home with a husband, if you know in this life, you want to live with who you're with only if you have that ring on your finger. If you know in this life, you want to have children. However, you don't want to have children out of wedlock. If you know in this life, you want to know from the gate that a guy is interested in you because he's actively and consistently showing you through his mouth, through his words, and he backs up all the things, why on earth should you then be required to negotiate what you want? Is it because your friends and family think that it's been so long and maybe you just aren't or don't have what it takes to get a man. Do you know who you are? Do you believe in you? What do you say about you? Because when it comes to friends and family members, even coworkers or whoever, who start putting their two cents in, it can get inside your head. So if you're questioning yourself after talking to a friend, family member, maybe even your mother or father, and they're like, well, it didn't work out over here and you were with this guy for 10 years and you know you wanted to be a wife and he didn't commit, you know, why do you want to be married? And then they'll start picking apart what you really want. So if you want to be married, they might say, well, why do you really want to be married? It's just a piece of paper. Or if you want kids, well, he has kids. I mean, they'll basically be like your kids. So why even fool with it? Why do you want to get gain all this weight anyway? Then when it comes to that, well, shacking up. I mean, girl, you know, it's inflation. Why don't you just move in with him? You like him. He like you. Why not? If you're hearing these conversations, if you're entertaining these conversations, I need for you to stop. Because whoever these people are who are trying to talk you out of what you want or make you negotiate and have this whole negotiation process when you don't need to, these aren't the kind of people you need to have these conversations with. You should have conversations with people who support you, people who see you, people who know your character, people who know some of the stuff that you've been through, people who've seen the work that you've done on self, seeing you mature, seeing you evolve, seeing you elevate, and who truly believe that you're a great person, you're a great human, and you deserve to get whatever it is you want. 
And a lot of times people who want you to negotiate are the people who have and or have had exactly what you want. And maybe they might be trying to get you to negotiate either because they don't feel like you're worth the effort and or they've had a bad experience, an unpleasant experience, and they might just think the same could happen to you. Either way, stick to what you want, stay in prayer about it, become what you want because like attracts like and do not fold. Stand on what you want. If you don't want a baby out of wedlock, quit sleeping with men. Get on your square, get in prayer, get some discipline about yourself. Focus on other things. If you know you want a lifelong partner in marriage, then only entertain other like-minded individuals when you go out and date. Don't go out and date guys who just want to go with the flow. That doesn't make sense. Don't go out with guys if you know you want kids who already has 10 or multiple or just don't want kids at all. A lot of these problems can be solved up front early on. So quit negotiating. Quit spreading yourself thin and stand on what you said you wanted and you will get it. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Coach B. Wiley here. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, of course, YouTube. Let me know how y'all feel about this video. And if you have to pass it along, feel free to do so. Talk to you later.